Hi. Yeah, so for the last two Saturdays, we've been painting. And uh, the first, after painting the first Saturday, I posted some of the things we had done on Facebook. And a friend of mine mentioned that they wouldn't mind the tutorial. So I thought, why not give a different kind of content now? Because we're no longer going out. So I don't have a lot of things for the blog. Yeah, so that's what we are going to be doing here today. We're going to be, it's painting. Uh, today I'll be, I'll have a video of how I'll be painting our, our study table. We've had it for like 15 years or more. <clears throat> yeah, so I was just thinking after we painted uh, like a stand we have and a stool that was used uh, during Django and it was just, and it, it came out so well. So I thought maybe we can also upscale our study table. Yeah, um, I did not record how we painted the stand and the stool and a kitty motto, but I'll have pictures and maybe do a voiceover of some of the complex stuff, like getting the patterns. Yeah, you'll see that. And also, I did these lines. They're not so perfect, but I really do like them. Yeah, so. So here is the table that we are going to be upscaling today. You can really see how old it is and we have really had it it has really served us yeah and uh, what are some of the things that you are going to need to use it first we will have a sandpaper uh, this whole roll this one cost about 40 shillings and mom got it at the center we also need a scissors in case we will need to cut that sandpaper we also have this doorknobs that i got at 50 shillings from a, a hardware in ld opposite japara there are three because there are three drawers. We also have this Basco value paint. My mom got it at around 200 and something. Uh, she doesn't really remember well, but we got it also at the hardware qua center. <laughs> yeah. And this kind of paint always needs turpentine. So we have some turpentine here that are going to use to mix it so that it can be a little bit thin. And this uh, kifuniko here is what we are going to be using to mix it on. I chose a small one because I was not, I'm, I've never done it before. So I just wanted to test and see how it's going to work. We also have this kijiti that we are going to use to paint. These brushes that I got for 50 bob last time and we used them then. Today we are just going to wash them with turpentine and then use them again because we are using the white paint. I also have this silk vinyl and into the painting. Best paint. It doesn't have a smell and it's just yummy. -er. So we have that in purple and in pink. To begin we will first start by sanding the table and just removing any kind of dirt and just to make it smooth before painting. So once you're done sanding you can use a kifagio or a clean cloth to just wipe uh, the table clean. And then uh, we will go in with the drawers in the same way using uh, the sandpaper. Just sand it well enough and also once you're done with that, you will just have to clean it well. Clean also the insides and then we will be able to now get into the painting. Once the drawers are now clean enough, we will now start using the purple paint. You can just see how nice it looks and just, yeah, it's just perfect. So I always like to paint in one direction so you can go front back or back front. Yes, so we will do this for all the three and then we are going to leave them to dry up and then we can start on the table itself. So the babies are all done now and uh, we're just going to let them dry. You'll notice because the paint is limited and we were not willing to spend on some more paint, we only painted the visible parts Yeah. So we started with the paint and uh, we tested with the sides but we found it was not so good. It's either because we, it was our first time using, I think so. So we had to run to the center and get some paint and brush. We got this 4-inch um, inch brush at 80 bob and then we got this crown, crown gal paint at 250 shillings. And as the legends say, if you like it, crown it. After getting the new paint, we poured it into the tin and then we added a few drops of turpentine because it was the same type. Yeah, and then we just kept um, mixing it until you see that it has become thin enough to use. We were also told that this type of paint works well with an undercoat. So we are now going to use some little leftover undercoat and then first apply because before we now go in with the original paint. When using the second paint, we actually noticed that the undercoat really helped a lot. And also it seems that this 
paint is of better quality although still not the best so after painting the whole table we now went I wanted to uh, insert the doorknobs onto the drawers but we had a little bit of a situation because the screws were too long so we had to uh, cut them so you may need to have like a strong person to help you with that and also maybe when buying uh, check your drawer first and then when buying also you can request for smaller screws now insert it we'll insert the screw into the hole on the drawer and then use a screwdriver to hold the place and then you um, zungusha the knob onto the screw we are all done now and here is the beauty we have I really hope you like that and because of how long this video has been I won't be able to add in um, the the painting we did last time but I'm going to do uh, another video next week it will just be a shorter maybe a minute or two at, at most and then I'll explain that yes thank you for watching